So what do those struggling with homelessness do during these cold stints? There are several places all around Tulsa that offer shelter. 2 News Oklahoma's Caitlin Rivas joins us now with how these agencies are making sure every Tulsan has an opportunity to get warm. Caitlin. Sharon, good evening. People with John 316 Mission tell me homelessness in Tulsa is on the rise and they're expecting to help more people get warm and safe this winter than ever before. We can speculate then that we, we we're going to see record numbers. The John 316 Mission is just one of several agencies in Tulsa that helps those experiencing homelessness. The mission offers food, warmth, and a bed for those who need it. But as the years go on, more and more Tulsans find themselves without a place to get warm. Unsheltered persons are any person that's living any place not designated for human habitation. So those numbers were up 40% last February. By shelter numbers, even over the summertime, we're up somewhere close to 10%. John 316 has around 100 beds for those needing a place to stay. And Pastor Whitaker says they can accommodate even more if needed. We, we can't allow somebody to, to go too cold. We can't let them ex suffer exposure. That's unconscionable. That can't happen. We would find some way to do that between John 316 and the others that care for the homeless center of the city. We just have to find a way to do it. But to accommodate all those in need, the mission is asking for help from the community. Pastor Whitaker says the mission always needs clothes, blankets, food, and water, along with monetary donations and volunteers. He says with the number of homeless growing, they aren't sure how this winter yes, will can. look. But regardless of the turnout, Whitaker says they'll make it work. We want to try to make sure that everybody gets a real bed and a, and a good five-star meal. But we do have mats that we can put on the ground. In, in a weather emergency, we're the overflow shelter for the city of Tulsa, or have been for these many years. So we have 100 mats should there be that kind of an emergency. Whitaker says they won't have an idea of how many people will be coming in until they're there. But he says with the help of the Tulsa Day Center and Salvation Army, they will be doing everything they can to make sure every Tulsan has a warm bed each night this winter. Sharon. All right, Caitlin, thank you. Well, homelessness has been on the rise in Tulsa, as Caitlin mentioned. John 316 Mission says they saw a 40% increase in unsheltered Tulsans year over year. Tonight, I looked into the data and discovered Tulsa isn't the only place where it's growing. A report from the National Alliance to End Homelessness says it went up from 2014 to 2020. Before that, homelessness had been going down for eight of the prior nine years. Now, the Alliance says homelessness almost certainly went up during the pandemic, but the virus disrupted many point-in-time counts.